bad credit. Do you currently have bad credit or are you looking to rebuild or fix your credit? Dwayne here with How to Build Credit TV and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about two steps that you can implement right now that will help you go from having bad credit to having fair credit and eventually good credit. But before we get started, I have a quick message. Once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV. And on this channel, we talk about everything you need to know about credit, credit cards, and how to make money using credit cards. As a matter of fact, I was able to make over $1,700 using one credit card in 13 months. So if this sounds like something in which you're interested, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the word subscribe below this video to the right and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so having bad credit is something that I'm all too familiar with. You see, most people think that having bad credit probably has something to do with the person being irresponsible when that's not quite the case at all. For example, you can have a situation in your life that you need money for and you don't have the money in your bank account currently, but you do have this wonderful tool called a credit card. So you use the credit card. And of course, that's how you kind of get in a pickle and you're basically, before you know it, you end up owing thousands of dollars and you can't pay it back. So that's how you can end up having bad credit. I mean, anything can happen at any moment and put you in a situation where you probably have to use your credit card because you don't have the available cash. So that's how some people get in trouble with bad credit or that's how some people get to have bad credit. For me, back when I was in college, I had a credit card and I had a $12,000 credit limit on that credit card. Not sure how the heck I was able to get a $12,000 credit limit, but I do know that the credit card companies are smart and they were marketing college students and they were like, let's give them a 12,000 limit. And so I was like, cool, this is kind of nice. And I started off being responsible at first, but you know, there were the occasional times that I purchased things that I totally did not need. I wasn't fixing my car, I wasn't getting a tire. I was buying clothes or I was buying a PlayStation 2, which was my very first game console that I ever owned. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna jump on my computer and kind of show you one option that you have in regards to going from bad credit to fair credit. These credit cards are gonna be high in interest. They're gonna probably have an annual fee, but you can just get started and that's the purpose of these cards. So I'm gonna jump on my laptop and just kind of show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go on over to wallethub.com and show you the credit cards that's available to you if you currently have bad credit. Okay, so I'm over at wallethub.com to have a look at unsecured credit cards for bad credit. As you can see, it says that at the top of the screen. And so right here, as you can see, it says best unsecured credit cards for bad credit, credit one, platinum visa for rebuilding credit, uh, total Visa credit card, official NASCAR credit card from Credit One Bank, Indigo MasterCard for less than perfect credit, Milestone MasterCard, bad credit considered, uh, Fingerhut credit account, I would not advise that one. So let's just scroll on down here and have a look at this. So as you can see here, it says Credit One Bank Platinum Visa for rebuilding credit. And over here, it says minimum credit bad. So this is pretty good. It says one-time fees, none. Uh, then they're Go with the regular APR, which is between 19.99 to 25.99 variable. Then, of course, it says annual fee between $0 and $99. There's no monthly fee. That's good. And they do offer you the ability to earn some cash back. That's not insanely important, but it's, an, it's there if you want that. So that's pretty okay. That's the first one here on this particular website. As you can see, there are 7,711 reviews for that one. So that one's probably not bad. The next one is the first access visa credit card. Of course, there's a one-time fee, 89 bucks. There's an annual fee, $75 the first year, 48 the second year. I'm not really into that. But, uh, you know, I will put the link to this website in the description below this video so that you can come to the website and have a look at these credit cards yourself. The next one is the Indigo MasterCard. Uh, of course, minimum credit score is bad credit. The next one is the Total Visa credit card. The next one is Milestone MasterCard. Uh, the next one is the official NASCAR credit card from Credit One Bank. This one's not bad. There is an annual fee here. I'm not sure if you want to do that, but there is also the ability to earn some reward between 1% to 2% cash back. So that's kind of cool if you're interested in that. The next one is the Surge MasterCard credit card. So the last one is the First Premier Bank MasterCard credit card. This one has quite a bit of fees. As you can see, there's a one-time fee of $95. 
Then there's an annual fee. This one I wouldn't necessarily recommend. So like I said, you can come here and have a look at this site. I'll be sure to put the link to this website below in the video description. So thank you for watching this portion. I'll see you back in just one second to talk to you about the second step that you can take to improve from bad credit to fair credit. So I'll see you back in just one second. Okay, so the second thing that you can do if you have bad credit is you can actually get a secured credit card. Now, this one was the one that I did because I was like, this is cool. I'm going to get a secured credit card with Discover card because I want to reestablish a relationship with Discover card. And they're a good bank and they're a big bank and there is no annual fee. Now, the secured credit card requires you to deposit money into an account with that particular bank. They hold that money as collateral for the duration of, you know, the time that you have the credit card until they promote or graduate you to an unsecured credit card. So basically a secured card just works where you put down anywhere between $200 up to $2,500 or even $10,000, depending on the bank that you're going to go with. And they hold that money there and you use your credit card like normal. Whatever you deposit is going to be your credit limit. So if you deposit $200, your credit limit is going to be $200. And I would kind of suggest doing that. Go ahead and just deposit maybe $200 uh, with Discover Card or Citibank. I've made a lot of videos talking about secure credit cards. Have a look at these videos by stopping by my channel. So there are a bunch of secure credit cards that you can get that can actually help you go from having bad credit to fair credit and eventually having good credit. So those are the two steps or the two things that you can do right now if you have bad credit that will help you go from having bad credit to fair credit and then eventually you'll get to having good credit. Thank you so much for watching this video on bad credit and how to improve your credit score to go from bad credit to fair credit to good credit. If you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel quite a bit. And if you want to share this video with somebody that may find it useful, please feel free to do so. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them as soon as I see it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel because on this channel, we talk about everything you need to know about credit, credit cards, and how to make money using credit cards. So if this sounds like something in which you're interested, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV, and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.